Imagine a world where chasing cheese down a hill or tossing tomatoes are not just daft dares, but age-old traditions. Surprised? Well, our globe is sprinkled with rituals and customs that might raise an eyebrow or spark a chuckle. In today's deep dive, we'll voyage through the top 10 most bizarre traditions that you won't believe actually exist. And trust me, by the end of this, you'll be itching to participate in at least one of these quirky ceremonies. So fasten your seatbelts, it's going to be a whimsically wild ride. Number 1. La Tomatina, Spain Deep in the heart of Valencia, Spain, there's a town named Bunol that's painted red once a year. And no, they don't bring out the paintbrushes, they use tomatoes. La Tomatina is the world's largest tomato fight. This fun-filled melee has people swarming from all corners of the globe to partake in this saucy battle. So what's the history behind this mushy tradition? It began in 1945 when a street brawl broke out during a town parade, and participants began throwing tomatoes from a nearby stall. The following year, people returned with their own tomatoes, and thus a tradition was born. While it might seem wasteful to some, the tomatoes used are of lower quality, grown specifically for the event. If you plan to visit, wear old clothes, because things are guaranteed to get messy. Number 2. The Baby Jumping Festival, Spain Spain seems to have a penchant for the unusual. From tomato fights to, well, jumping over babies. Yes, you heard that right. In a tiny Spanish village named Castrillo de Murcia, they host the El Colacho, or the Baby Jumping Festival. Now hold on to your hats, this is a peculiar one. Here's how it goes down. Babies born during the previous 12 months are laid on mattresses in the street. Men dressed as the devil then jump over these babies. It's believed that this act cleanses the babies of original sin, ensuring them a life free from evil. Despite its bizarre nature and obvious risks, there have been no reported injuries. However, if you're a new parent, it's probably best to remain a spectator. Number 3. Cheese Rolling, England Rolling down a hill might seem like child's play, but in Gloucestershire, England, it's taken to an extreme, and it's all for a wheel of cheese. The Cooper's Hill Cheese Rolling and Wake is an annual event where participants chase a wheel of cheese down a very steep hill. Sounds Gouda to you? The origins are a bit murky, but it's believed to have pagan roots to ensure a good harvest. Today, it's more about the thrill and, of course, the cheese. The first person to cross the finish line after the cheese wins the race and gets to take the cheese wheel home. It's not just locals who participate. People from all over the world come to take the cheese chasing challenge. However, a fair warning, injuries are quite common given the hill's steepness, so proceed with caution. Number 4. The Battle of the Oranges, Italy From tomatoes in Spain to oranges in Italy, food fights seem to be a recurring theme. Held in the town of Avria, the Battle of the Oranges is the largest food fight in Italy, where teams engage in a spirited, citrusy skirmish. This fruity warfare is rooted in the town's history. Legend says it commemorates the townspeople's revolt against a tyrannical ruler in the 12th century. Fast forward to today, and it's a grand spectacle, with everyone geared up and ready for the pulpy battle. And for those worried about wastage, fear not! the oranges used aren't fit for consumption. Just be sure to wear protective gear if you decide to join in, as those flying fruits can pack a punch. Number 5. Nakisumo, Japan In Tokyo, there's a contest where sumo wrestlers try to make babies cry. No, this isn't some cruel joke. Nakisumo, or the baby crying contest, is a 400-year-old Japanese tradition where sumo wrestlers hold babies and try to make them cry. Why, you ask? It's believed that the crying of the babies wards off evil spirits. The baby who cries the loudest and the longest is considered the winner. Parents willingly offer their babies for this event, seeing it as a rite of passage. Oddly enough, while it may seem distressing for the little ones, it's conducted in a spirit of fun. And rest assured, sumo wrestlers, despite their imposing size, handle the babies with utmost care. Number 6. Blackening of the Bride, Scotland Before the big white wedding in Scotland, there's another tradition that's not so pristine. Known as the blackening, friends and family capture the bride, sometimes the groom too, and cover them in everything from molasses to feathers. 
This messy affair, mainly practiced in the rural parts of Scotland, is meant to prepare the couple for any humiliation or hardships they might face in their marital journey. After the gooey onslaught, the couple is paraded around town. While it might sound like a nightmare to some, most participants find it hilarious and a memorable part of their pre-wedding festivities. If you're attending a Scottish wedding, though, maybe stand back unless you're keen on getting a bit sticky. Number 7. Goat Tossing, Spain Spain is back on the list with another quirky tradition. In the village of Manganisis de la Polvorosa, the residents celebrate the Festival of St. Vincent by tossing a live goat from the top of a church tower. This startling ritual is believed to commemorate a legendary goat that would supply milk to the poor. The goat, which is caught in a canvas sheet by villagers below, usually emerges unscathed and is then paraded through the town. Over the years, animal rights activists have voiced their concerns, leading to modifications in the tradition. Today, in many instances, a plush toy goat is used in place of the real thing. Number 8. Bullet Ant Gloves, Brazil In the Amazon rainforest, the Satir Maui tribe has an initiation ritual that's not for the faint of heart. Young men seeking to prove their manhood must wear gloves filled with bullet ants, known for delivering the most painful sting in the insect kingdom. The gloves are worn for 10 excruciating minutes. The pain, described as akin to being shot, can last for 24 hours. The young men must endure this multiple times to be considered warriors. While it's a tradition deeply rooted in the tribe's culture, it's a stark reminder of the lengths humans go to in rites of passage. Number 9. The Monkey Buffet, Thailand Held in Lopburi, Thailand, the Monkey Buffet Festival is a unique event where over 600 monkeys are invited to feast on a banquet of fruits, candies, and other treats. It's a Thanksgiving of sorts, honoring the monkeys for drawing tourists to the town. These monkeys aren't shy. They dive right into the feast, munching, playing, and even causing a bit of chaos. For the residents of Laburi and visitors alike, it's a spectacle of fun and laughter. If you ever find yourself in Thailand around this time, don't miss it. Just be sure to keep your belongings secure. These cheeky monkeys have been known to snatch a thing or two. Number 10. The Thai Pusum Festival, Malaysia Last on our list, but certainly not least, is the Thai Pusum Festival celebrated by the Tamil Hindu community in Malaysia. Devotees seeking penance or giving thanks pierce their bodies with skewers and hooks, often carrying heavy burdens as they march. This vibrant, intense festival is a dedication to the Hindu deity, Lord Murugan. The acts of self-mortification are seen as a demonstration of devotion and commitment. For outsiders, it's a captivating, if somewhat intense, cultural spectacle. However, it's essential to approach with respect and understanding, recognizing the deep spiritual significance it holds for participants. Well, there you have it. From tomato tossing to monkey feasts, our world is beautifully odd and endlessly fascinating. Remember, while we might chuckle or gasp, these traditions hold deep meaning for many. So the next time you find yourself in a peculiar situation, embrace it. Who knows? It might just become the next global sensation. Catch you on the next wild adventure.